Hi, my name is Helmut Kay. I'm a professor of microbiology here at Leeward Community College, and today I'm going to show you why candy is bad for your teeth. These are agar plates. Agar plates is what we use to grow bacteria in the lab. This one has glucose as its main sugar. Glucose is a very simple sugar that bacteria get lots of energy from. This plate has sucrose as its main sugar. Sucrose is the sugar that you find in candy. Our experiment today is going to be to take bacteria from our mouth and put it onto the plate and see what happens. To do that, we're going to do it very simply. I'm simply going to open up the plate and I'm going to stick my tongue on it. Mmm. Tastes a lot worse than it looks. Now I'm going to do the same for the sucrose plate. Mmm. Even worse. We're going to stick these in the incubator, let them grow overnight, and then tomorrow I'll show you what happens. Okay, we're back. We let the bacteria grow in the agar plates overnight. This is what we see. This is what the bacteria look like on the glucose plate. This is what the bacteria look like on the sucrose plate. Do you see the difference? Remember, these are the exact same bacteria growing on two different sugars. Let's take a closer look, okay? So a closer look at the plates allows us to see these things we call colonies. And this is what happens when bacteria grow many, many times over the course of one night, and they form these large visible mounds. On the left, we have the bacteria growing on glucose. On the right, we have the bacteria growing on sucrose. And remember, that's the sugar from candy. A little bit hard to see, so I grew it a different way where we can see the colonies a little bit better by themselves. Notice how when we grow the bacteria on sucrose, the one on the right, they look much bigger than when we grow them in glucose. And remember, these are the same bacteria. They all came from my mouth. The reason that the bacteria growing on sucrose look bigger is because when you feed them sucrose, they can form this protective layer that allows them to stick to your teeth. What you are looking at here is literally plaque on a plate. And this plaque keeps the bacteria around and over time can lead to tooth damage. So there you have it. Candy is bad for your teeth. Now remember, sucrose is found in a lot of other things, not just candy. So to prevent these from growing on your teeth, be sure to brush your teeth every day. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other videos.